Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pajero build series. Today we're going to be tackling some exterior modifications, putting it over from the short wheelbase onto our long wheelbase Pajero. So things like the towing mirrors, reverse slide, I don't know what else, maybe even the bonnet struts, that sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to be putting over what we can in this episode. So yeah, I'll take you along for the ride and show you how it's done. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so we'll start off with the mirrors first, which is very easy to do. Luckily, you don't have to take this whole door card off. So essentially, you just plug this one out like that. All right, so easy peasy. And then, so there's one screw down there that you do, and then there's literally just three bolts in there. There you go, one, two, three, and it comes off. So let's quickly do that. Awesome guys, the MSA towing mirrors are on and I absolutely love them. I've been testing these over the last few months and they are just awesome mirrors. They're generally less expensive than the Clearview mirrors. They're more compact and they're also just awesome, right? So I'll show you some um, features that it's got. So it's got a few extensions. So first one, put with that one there. Second, that one, or you can just run it like that as well. So that is awesome. I've done a lot of corrugations and there's almost little to no vibrations, which is good on the mirror itself. And that's sort of what you want. Instead of those ones that you sort of clip onto your existing mirrors, because they vibrate a lot. They do work when you sort of stand still or don't really do any corrugation sort of thing. But otherwise, it's best to invest in these ones for sure. Anyway, let's move to the rear of the car. Right, guys, so we have taken the rear fog light out. So essentially what we're gonna do is just replace it with the reverse light that we've got here. Um, so as you know, these ones here, they are pretty good as well, guys. Very nice and sharp. Um, it's already modified, so that just means I can literally just put it over onto the new car. We do have a video on how to install one of these, but essentially just cut the bolt shorter as well. You take the red lens out, whack that bad boy in there, and as you can see, it sits nice and flush. So yeah, we'll put that onto the new car now, and um, yeah, see what it looks like. Alrighty, so here you go. As you can see, it's just the two bolts over there, and it has the same plug, which is great. So it will literally just be a plug and play, which is awesome. So let's get that down real quick. Awesome guys, so there you go. That is the reverse light. So it essentially just replaces the fog light. You've got two other reflector lights there as well still. So that is perfectly fine. Um, so essentially how it works, so you just have your lights on and you just press that button there. And hopefully it's now on, you see. There you go, showing it's on. So let's have a look. There you go. So yeah, perfect for people, you know, towing at night and they wanna see what's going on behind their table um, or just in general, if you want more reverse lights, um, that is the way to go. The other thing as well, guys, if you do buy the LED interior kit, you can use some of the space for your, um, lights at the back that goes onto your number plate so yeah that is pretty handy right so the next thing that i'm going to attempt is putting in this mechanism right here which is the rear door opener 
Um, I reckon that might be handy, especially if you're in the car. Maybe you're sleeping. There's so much room in the long wheelbase. Um, some people definitely camp out of there. So yeah, it just makes it handy to open the door from the inside. So it will be just behind this plate. Um, so yeah, let's quickly install that and I'll um, show you how it works. Right guys, so first up, make sure to loosen all the bolts over there on that side and then you come to the inside. You peel back your plastic and as you can see, this car looks brand spanking new under there. That is awesome. Um, so yeah, don't worry about that bolt over there. Um, so essentially, we're just going to do that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and then that whole plate needs to come out. So yeah, let's quickly do that. There we go. Now we're going to get in there. So this is the rear door opener. So essentially how it's going to fit, it will go in here. And it's going to sit something like that there. Awesome. So I'm just quickly going to fit it up and I'll show you what it looks like. So that is all fitted up. So make sure that's where it goes. One bolt there. One washer will go behind there. There's a total of three supplied in the kit. And the other two will go behind that bolt. And behind the mechanism as well. Just so it's evenly spaced out guys. And um, everything will work nicely. So have a look at this. There you go. And that's how you open it. So let me put everything back together and um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. So here's with the cover back on. So essentially you just have to make a small hole for, for like an opening over there, just so you can still use it. There you go. So let's put the cover back on and see if it's all workable. This is the complete door. So essentially if you just wanna Open it from the inside, you just open up that latch over there and then when you can have a look in there, you'll see the lever. So you just do this. And then we'll open from the inside. So yeah, happy days. Awesome guys, well there you go. That is literally the end of another day. So. <laughs> Far out, you think you're gonna get so much done, but then it just doesn't happen. But anyway, so the towing mirrors are on, they're looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, gonna be excited to use those in the future. I'm still waiting on a lot of parts. There still needs to be weather shields that goes up onto the long wheel base. Um, what else? Roof racks, light bars, it's all coming. Um, so it's very exciting and um, yeah, it's all happening guys. So make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. And there's a lot of exciting things coming and I'm so excited to show you guys uh, what it's all going to look like. So yeah, what do you reckon about the Pajero so far? Uh, it looks still pretty stock, doesn't it? But yeah, it's going in uh, very soon into a workshop to get all the suspension trials with over and the wheels and tires. So that's going to make it look a bit more complete, I reckon. So yeah, I'm very excited for that part of it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, guys, it's just a lot happening. So... Yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Um, we also ordered a new head unit for this car. So uh, make sure to stay tuned because we're going to be installing a nice head unit into this one. And um, yeah, maybe even supply to you guys. So yeah, happy days. Anyway, see you guys. Cheers. Bye.